Hi everyone, and welcome to my tutorial on how to run Reshram or Zekrom in Pokemon Black and White. Um, you're going to need a few things before you get started. First of all, you're going to need a version of Pokemon Black or White, which you have played up to this point, in which you're going to encounter either Reshram or Zekrom, depending on your version. Then you will need one of two sets of things. Set 1 will be a Nintendo DS with a R4. Uh, something to read uh, micro SD cards from, and a 3DS version with custom firmware. If you do not have a regular DS, you can also use an R4 which works on 3DS systems. Alright, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure your uh, black or white version is in your 3DS. Then you want to go over to FBI and open it up. Then you want to go down to Titles, and then click on your black or white version, and then just export the save data. This will take a while, so give it some time. Now, once your 3DS is completely powered off, you want to hold the Start button and press the Power button while holding it. Select Got Mode 9, then go down to Game Card. Select that, pick the trim.nds file, and select copy to gm out. Now I've already done this, so it won't work for me, but it should take a few seconds to minutes, and then we'll go into the next step. Now here on the left I have my 3ds SD card, here on the right I have my R4 SD card. What you want to do is in your 3ds SD card go to GM9, out, and then you'll see this trim.nds file, you want to copy that to your R4, which will take a few seconds. In the meantime we're going to go to uh, FBI, save, and here we have pokemonb.save, that's the save file we just dumped. So we want to copy that one as well. And then what you want to do, you want to take the name of the NDS, oh, copy it, and paste it here. Make sure it says .nds.save and not just .save. Alright, now here I have the R4 custom cheat engine which I will leave a link to in the description. What you want to do is you want to go here, add game. You're going to give it a name, doesn't matter. So I'm just going to do Pokemon Black. Then you want, to, uh, you want to click on these three dots here. And then just find your Pokemon Black ROM. And it'll input the game ID. Then you want to check mark game enabled and add a new code. For this one we are going to do shiny lock removal. And then what you want to do is you want to grab uh, one of the few codes that... Um, you want to grab the code that removes the shiny lock for your version. In this case it's uh, this code except you replace the access. You replace them with these codes depending on your version. I will leave all these codes in the description. Also, you don't need this last line, this just activates the code. So, we're gonna take this, copy it over to the cheat engine, paste it, and then replace those X's since we have a um, international version of black. We want to replace these X's with those numbers. Then you want, we want to enable the code, and then we're going to add another code. Now for the other code, we are going to call it Force Shiny. The only reason we're going to add this code is because we want to test our other code to see if it works. Now this code, I'll leave it in the description, is for Pokemon Black. I'll try to leave uh, codes for Pokemon White, Pokemon Black 2, and Pokemon Y2 in the description. And this will basically force any wild Pokemon to be shiny. This, uh, we're, we're using this to check if this code works. So now what you want to do is click File, Save, and save it as User Cheat in your in the folder of your R4. You want to go to RPG 
cheats and then save it as user cheat of that. As you can see, I've already done that. All right, what you want to do next is you want to go to this website. The link will be in the description and upload the save file. Make sure the first is set to raw and the second is set to this one, which includes all fours and press convert and replace your save file with the new one. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna start up your R4 with your SD card back in. Then you're gonna go down to your Pokemon Black, press Y, then press X, and make sure both codes are enabled because we're gonna test it first of all. Then press X, okay. Then go to Y, settings, and press L until you get to this screen. And make sure cheats in game are on. This is something that I forgot and I was wondering why it wasn't working. So, then you're going to save, press OK and start up your game. Alright, we're in game. And if everything should be in order, we should encounter a shiny restroom now. As you can see, both codes work. So now we're going to turn the game off. Turn the S back on. And, oh, we are going to disable the Force Shiny and start it back up. And right now you are ready to hunt Reshiram. All you need to do is encounter it. And if it's not shiny, you just run away. This time you'll encounter a different Reshiram each time. And each Reshiram will have a 1,8192 1 chance of being shiny. Thank you for watching and good luck on hunting Reshiram or Zekrom.